welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Vivor weather station. Now just a disclaimer, I did not purchase this unit. It was sent to me by Vivor to do a review on my channel. So stay tuned. Okay, so this is the way it came sent to me in this package. This is the Vivor weather station model YT6077. Take a look. Yep, nice looking little unit here. Let's have a little closer look. Okay, according to the instructions, first thing we have to do is pair the outdoor remote sensor. Before we do that, we got to put some batteries in it. Okay, to pair it, you want to hold the channel button on the station for two seconds. One, two. Okay, there we go. All right, let's go mount the sensor. Okay, before we mount the sensor, we gotta go find a little screw that'll fit the back side of this. And something interesting, I was curious as to how far you can mount this sensor. And according to the specifications here, it's telling me 330 feet. We're going to test that. All right, here's our sensor. As you see here, we have a very strong signal. Let's go test that 330 feet. have a very strong signal. Very impressed. Now my only complaint is uh, it would have been nice if they included the screw for the mount. Um, you know, kind of a small hole here and uh, it took me a little while to find the right screw in my, my collection that I have that will fit properly. And Myself, personally, I like to mount these sensors in an area where it's not going to get direct sunlight. I think it just helps keep the, uh, the temperature reading a little more consistent. So I'm going to mount this one basically uh, right next to my old one that I have here. Okay, let's take a closer look at the screen. 
very colorful, very bright, easy to read, easy to see. You can adjust your backlighting here with the center button. If you're just running on batteries, the, uh, the display will turn off to conserve uh, battery life. But I have mine uh, plugged in here. And your top left here, you have your outdoor temperature. Top right is the indoor temperature. And then we have the uh, humidity for both inside and outside as well. This center here kind of gives you a little trend of what's going on outside. Um, seems to be pretty accurate. This is telling me that it's uh, currently partly cloudy. And as I mentioned before, this is an atomic clock, so it automatically sets itself date and time. As far as accuracy, I don't know if you can see this as well, but this is my, my old unit. Uh, currently it's telling me that it is 67.2 degrees outside. The Vivor unit is telling me 66.9. Fairly close. Indoor temperature on the old unit, 69 degrees. Indoor temperature on the Vivor, 70 degrees. And this seems to line up with my uh, thermostat in the house. So, so one nice feature with this unit is uh, you can have up to three sensors. So you can uh, keep track of the temperature, humidity in uh, three different areas. It also has an alarm, which is kind of nice. So if you have a, a building that you don't want to freeze in the winter or a greenhouse that you want to monitor the temperature in, you can set this thing to uh, go off at a certain temperature. So for example, if it gets down to say freezing at 32 degrees, it will uh, sound an alarm. Pretty nice feature. So yeah, it looks like a pretty nice unit. Um, so far I'm pretty happy with it. Um, if I do have any problems with it, I'll definitely uh, let you guys know. But uh, hey, appreciate you guys uh, watching the video and taking a look at this with me. Uh, if you like this type of content, be sure to like the video. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Mm -hmm.